Well, thank you so much for coming. Um, it's such a privilege to have you here, to have you supporting um, this ministry really is what it is. I want to um, just say, for those of you who were here, this, what, do I have anybody who was here this morning? Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> we went a little long this morning. We made some adjustments. Two and a half hours is what we did this morning. So uh, you're not in for that long of a ride, I promise. But we had a great time, and the kids did awesome. Um, I wanted to just let you know that tonight is a little bit outside of our wheelhouse. You guys understand. Dr. Wilson told you about the ministry of our school. You know that. A lot of you have students that attend our school. Um, we have a mission we have a mission to spread the gospel through um, choral singing, through text that is biblical truth. Tonight is a little bit different, okay? Do not take biblical truth from the things that we're singing because you're not going to be able to find it. Tonight is us playing a part. Um, all of these students are, are um, acting on the stage. And, you know, um, we're singing all different types of music from all different types of shows. Some of them are great, some of them are maybe not so great, but they have some incredible music in them. And so that's what we're gonna be doing tonight. So I hope that this is just um, a fun evening, a time for you to enjoy. Don't take anything seriously that we sing. Junior High is singing a song called Revolting Children. And although that is, you know, that does cover some junior hires, it doesn't cover this group. They're not singing that now, they'll be up in a little bit. Right now is our honor choir. This honor choir is fifth and sixth grade. They are auditioned, they have to rece receive a teacher reference, and they have to maintain their grades. Um, and I have to tell you, these guys have had, I think, three rehearsals, maybe four, but I think it's been three. And they just already, they come in, they're ready to work, they work on their music outside of class. I could not be more proud of them. This is our fifth and sixth grade honor choir.
We're so thankful for Mrs. Johnson starting this honor choir so that starting in fifth grade, they can apply for this and start developing their skills and they have a lot to look forward to as they go to junior high and high school. But what a special group of kids this is. And uh, they, I just need to let you know, we have the greatest student body. These kids come here, they live life together, they love each other, and they love us well. It was such a great encouragement this last week. I was just sharing with the staff, hey, please pray for me as we're still trying to finish our front office. It's just been a journey as we're looking for permitting through the city, and it's been kind of a, a stressful thing. I shared that with the staff, and so the staff brought it back to their classroom and shared it with their students. And uh, so the students decided to write me a letter. I've got a whole pile of letters on my desk, which was so encouraging, but this one said, SCCS is my home, with colors and hearts and everything, and it's just said, hey, I know it's been a difficult season right now, but I want you to know that, you, that we have this whole school under prayer for you. God will do great things. And it was just such an encouragement. Wow, we're here for the kids, but we're training up kids that are here for us, and we're blessed by them. And we're thankful for those like Paisley Canonis, who wrote me a nice note, and many others who we trust, you love and adore, and so do we. So we're thankful we can hear their voice as we pray this evening's a blessing to you. I want to introduce this piece of Revolting Children. If you don't know the story of Matilda, it's really a fun story. One of the, my favorite things about it is that it really talks about how, well, the, the theme of the story is that children really are a gift. They're a blessing. Um, these students go to this school with the wicked, horrible Mrs. Trunchbull who thinks they are gross and vermin. And at the end of the, the thing, it's like, you know what? okay, we're the revolting children, but they're the ones who have fought against the injustice, and there are some lovely, wonderful adult figures in it, so it's not against, you know, all adults, but this is revolting children. Never again will she get the best of me. Never again will she take away my freedom. And we won't forget the day we fought for the right to be a little bit naughty. Never again, we were joking or sorry. Oh, L-T-I-N-G It is too 
say they can say I've lost my mind. I don't care, I don't care, so call me crazy. We can live in a world that we This next song is from, it's called Answer Me, and it's from um, just this really beautiful, um, very calm musical called The Band's Visit. And it's about a band um, that is supposed to go to this like diplomatic uh, event. Um, and they take a bus and they say the name of their town, but because of the language miscommunication, they end up in a small, it's an Arab band, and they spend, end up in a small little town in Israel. And the whole story is about these two kind of warring factions, these people that end up 
The band can't leave. It's only one bus in the middle of nowhere, and they have to stay there for a few days until they can get their bus to go where they're supposed to be. And they um, they become friends, and they um, they just have it. It's so beautiful. The music in it is so beautiful. There's this beautiful piece called Answer Me. It's very quiet, very calm. And um, just talking about, you know, the need for communication um, in our world. So this is Answer Me.
as we change out really quick, I'll just mention a couple of things to you. This is actually being live streamed right now. So if you know somebody who'd like to watch it, there's an email that was sent to everybody, every, of our, every one of our school families you can forward on. Uh, I posted it online, you can check it out. Or afterward, if they didn't get to watch it live, we'll be posting the video. They can watch it later or you can rewatch it later and share it from there. So we're thankful for the opportunity to put this out for everybody to hear and enjoy the wonderful voices. One correction from earlier for me, our auction items are still out there. You can bid on those at any time, but we're actually not calling them tonight. You'll bid on them on your way out and then we'll call you early next week with those who won and then you would come in and purchase those early next week. Um, cash check, if you end up using a credit card, we appreciate when you cover the fees on that. It helps even everything's out on our side as well. And so um, now you're seeing our high school choir come up, and I just need to let you know they've worked really hard up until today. Some of them just got off the football field last night. Who was at the football game? Several. It's great. Okay, well, we have the ladies to start, but some of them were cheering as well. It was a great night. The score is 4-1, to one, top of the seventh, in case you're curious, for the Dodgers game. the invitation you got the right address you need some medication the answer is always yes a little chance encounter could be the one you've waited for just squeeze a bit more tonight we're on a mission tonight's the casting call if this is the real audition oh help us all we make the right impression then everybody knows your name to say a couple things um, as our high school men are coming up. Um, this group actually has the opportunity to sing in Disneyland's Candlelight. Have any of you ever been to Disneyland's Candlelight before? Oh, great. 
Okay, um, so I want to tell you a little bit about it because um, it's actually been in existence since 1955, and what happens is they start all the way at Small World, and they walk down all of Main Street and sing Christmas carols. When they get to the front by the train station, like the very front of the park where they enter, um, it's this beautiful concert, and what's so crazy about it, when you think Disney, you don't think gospel, it actually is the Luke account of Christ's birth like start to finish, total gospel, um, all sacred music. We sing the Hallelujah Chorus. I mean, it's incredible. I mean, it's a really an amazing thing that they've kept this tradition alive. Let me tell you a little bit about the backstory of getting into it. Ever since I have been on this campus, and I think this is like my 18th year teaching here, um, I have auditioned for Candlelight. I have had my group audition, and we have only made it in one time in 2016. We were actually kind of blacklisted for a few years because uh, they demanded that we all show proof of vaccination, and we just weren't going to do that. And then um, our own Julie Quinones, literally... She fought the mouse and won. She called every day, and they're like, okay, let that Christian school in. Um, but, yeah, they actually reversed their policy, and um, we got an opportunity to audition this year. And I have to tell you, they take 400 singers nationally, and several of those singers are um, adult choirs. And, um, like, a, there's a cast group, a, a cast choir. And so the fact that we got in, so we're 59 voices out of 400. That's incredible. Yeah, it's a big deal. So, I know, I'm so proud of them. Our performance is on December 7th, and you can't actually get tickets to Candlelight, but you can buy a ticket to go to Disneyland that day, and then there's, like, kind of reserved space um, where you can stand and watch the, the performance. But it's, it's going to be very cool. Uh, the second we hit the ground on Monday, we are memorizing 12 pieces in four weeks. Well, three because of Thanksgiving, so... These kids are going to be a little tired, but they're so ready for it. They've shown that. Okay, um, here's our men's, um, our men's group. And I, I told this story earlier this morning, but we're doing I'll Make a Man Out of You, which is from the awesome movie Mulan. So if you know it, yeah, it's so fun. And this is the best song in the whole thing. Donny Osmond, I mean, right? He, he kills it. Um, so in the middle of this, this entire men's piece, there is one female solo. And, you know, we were like, how are we going to do this? Like, we could have a girl maybe, like, we could have all the guys, like, separate, and the girl could, like, pop up and sing her little line. And we're, like, trying to think about it. And Caleb Bauer, raise your hand, Caleb. Yep. Oh, man, is he loved. Caleb Bauer is like, you know what? I got this solo. I got this solo. So <laughs> Caleb is going to rock this. It's, like, our favorite part. And, and please laugh because it's hilarious. Okay, this is I'll Make a Man Out of You. <laughs> Catch my breath, say goodbye to those who knew me. What was I fool in school for cutting gin? This guy's gone scared to death. Hope he doesn't see right through me. Now I really wish that I knew how to swim. The young man must be swift as a course he The young man all the force of a great typhoon. The young man on the strength of a raging fire. The serious as the dark side of the moon. Time is racing toward us till the Huns arrive. Heed my every order and you might survive. You're suited for the rage of war, so pack up. 
As a coursing ring, be a man with all the force of a great typhoon. Be a man with all the strength of a raging fire, mysterious as the dark side of the moon. Um, as our high school choir is coming up to um, do their portion of the show, I want to take a few minutes, so settle in. Um, we're going to talk about our choir tour. Um, you know, we have had the opportunity to travel pretty extensively. Um, we have domestically, we've gone to Washington State a few times. We've gone to Colorado, Nashville. We've done New York twice. We've done San Diego. Um, I think I said, did I say Colorado? Um, and those have been incredible trips. Um, about, I don't know how many years ago, I, you know, kind of had the little bug that I wanted to try to do some international trips. So our very first trip that we took was to Australia. Um, actually, to Tiffany's hometown. I'm not sure where she went, but um, we went to Tiffany's hometown and um, we had an incredible trip. Uh, then in our COVID year, you know, that fateful March, whatever that date was, um, we were supposed to go to Ireland and our trip got canceled within just a few days of us being ready to leave. So we actually were able to take that Ireland trip two years ago. Um, and it was just such an incredible experience. This year, last year we got to go to Oahu, and this year our trip is to um, France and Switzerland, hence the darling little boxes that you have, um, uh, that Alice Dumitru did for us. Um, but we are traveling to France and Switzerland in April. Um, and let me just tell you about our trips a little bit. They're settling. They're settling. Um, you know, uh, we have had the opportunity to get to know a lot of students on our trips. Um, I can even remember back in Australia, I, we, met, we met a young man at one of our concerts. I mean, and you meet so many people that, you know, it doesn't always, they don't always kind of ring a bell in your mind when you leave later. But um, this uh, young man made friends with several of the students on the, on, the, on the tour. And it wasn't these students. It was several years ago. Um, and to this day, they have kept up that relationship. He has messaged me many times and, you know, has even talked about how, how much that has meant to him. Even now, we still get messages from him now. And this is years ago. And, you know, it was so impactful in this young man's life. Um, that trip and that relationship. Um, in Ireland, we had the pastor, Andrew Curry, um, talk to us about the tensions between Northern Ireland and Ireland and how it's very difficult for someone from Northern Ireland to minister in Ireland or vice versa. And how it's, Americans have this ability to walk in and do anything that they want. They have their, this ability to come in and, um, you know, start a church or, or do missions work. And, and he gave a plea to these students, you should be doing that. How many of you guys that went on the Ireland trip are still in communication with some of those students? Yeah, that's lifelong friendships that they've made. And we hope that that continues. It is such a blessing to be able to go on this trip. Now, in, in, in what we're doing in, in our trip this year is we are starting the trip in um, Paris, France. Um, uh, we have a church that we're going to visit. Um, thanks to a connection with the Woodwards, we're going to hopefully be singing at the French Embassy. Um, we also, then we're going to move on to Lyon and a dear friend of Dr. Wilson and mine, his name is Philippe Vigure. He um, has a network of about five churches and he is so excited for us to, um, to minister with them. We're going to do several school visits, which is one of our favorite things, just to connect with students. Um, and then we get to go to Geneva, um, Switzerland, and we have some friends there, John Glass and Jonathan Moorhead, who are experts in the Reformation. And um, we're going to do a Reformation tour, and that night is Good Friday, and we're going to do a Good Friday concert. Concert. After that, we move on to Lausanne, Switzerland, um, where we're going to be for Easter Sunday in the next few days. And um, we are very excited. A, a lot of you are parents or are connected to the school, and you know the sacrifice it is just to pay tuition to send your kids to this school. Um, you know, 
and, and I appreciate that, and I, and I get that. All of us teachers get that at the school. Then for me to, on top of that, ask for $3,500 per student to raise that money to go on this trip. It's our most expensive trip we've ever done, and already it's proved that it's like, you know what, we just can't do that trip this year. And I understand that, um, but that's what tonight is for. We have one shot for us to try to raise the funds for these kids to be able to take this trip. Um, you know, I made a joke this, this morning that my prayer, my, you know, just pie in the sky prayer was that we would get $20,000 out of this fundraiser. And I said, Dr. Wilson's had a little more faith than I did and his was 25,000. And he has a good reason for that. We'll see. I said, we'll see who knows God more, you know, we'll see. And then, of course, he does. Um, but anyways, we, um, that's our prayer. That's our goal for tonight. So, you know, um, we know that you have paid a lot of money to even come to this, this concert. But um, if the Lord moves in your heart to give to these students to um, be able to continue missions, um, we would just be so thankful. We are going to show you a little video of our trip to Oahu. That was the trip that we took last year. And I know for me, um, we were so much more ministered to than we could minister. It was such a sweet time for our students, and I'd love to just share a little taste of it for you right now. Hawaii was an excellent opportunity. We always try to partner with a solid church, a local church, and who better to partner with than Landon Miller, who is a former faculty member of SCCS and just a, a dear friend. It was really for our students to get to know Landon, for Landon to speak into their lives, and also just so that we could come alongside the church to do ministry in the schools. I feel the ministry of the choir is glorifying God just in everything we do, whether it's inside of our choir or outside of our choir, because even in fun, we can still glorify God. And then also, while we sing, it's just singing well and reaching the hearts of people to show them what we're singing about and why it's important to us by how we sing it so that they may hear the lyrics and then maybe apply it to their lives. The choir dynamic was actually really great. On these trips, I feel like we get really close with each other, which is really good. I loved how everyone just connects, and something about these trips makes you feel more like a family as a choir. The bond is astronomically great. Like it's, <laughs> I can't even describe it, because throughout these trips, I've just seen a growth in our friendships, and friendships that I never thought I would have, just grow through these.
One of the most impactful things on our trip was visiting Pearl Harbor. We talk a lot about the military, supporting our military, and obviously history and our nation, but we don't often get the opportunity to visit a location that's so historically important to us. I think just, first of all, being on the USS Missouri and having the opportunity to sing the national anthem in a place where many men lost their lives for the privilege to be free in this country is just something that I think a lot of us will never forget. And then what a neat opportunity it was for us to be on the Arizona Memorial. Usually it's total silence, but we received special permission to sing this piece, The Mansions of the Lord, which is a beautiful song about how those soldiers gave their life for our freedom and how now there is no more sorrow and no more tears. And um, I just don't think we'll ever forget that singing on top of the boat where these men gave everything. It is such a privilege to teach the Pearl program here at SECS, and it's something that I don't take for granted. I have many goals and desires for these students. One of them is to create a haven for them, a place that they love to come. I think that's a pretty easy thing to do when you're singing scripture or biblical truth. Also, just to teach them to do things with excellence, for them to take pride in the work that they do because they know that they've given their very best. You know, we talk a lot about worship, and worship requires sacrifice, and I think that there's a lot of joy to be found when you are doing things with excellence and doing things well. I hope that these students are a light in our community, that when we go out that we can be at a standard or a level that's much higher than what people expect for us. The most important thing I think in my ministry is to teach the students that the text should go to their heart, that this should be music that they are thinking on and dwelling on for the rest of their lives. And when they are encountering trials or hardship, that these songs would come back into mind and that they would remember that God is good and the promises that we find in scripture.
dishes, they as free as fishes, sure means washing dishes, what a fine life, carrying the banner home for you all. It takes a smile that spreads like butter, the kind that turns a lady's head. It takes an orphan with a stutter, who's also blind and mute and dead. And winter's freezing when you work outdoors. Start a sweat and end up sneezing in between it pours. Still, it's a fine life, carrying the better with the charm. Folks, we finally got a headline. Newsies crushed as bulls attack. Crutchy's calling me dumb crips just too dang slow. Guys are fighting, bleeding, falling. Thanks to good old Captain Jack. Captain Jack just wants to close his eyes and go. Thank you. 
From the moment I found you, I thought I knew what love was. Now I'm learning what is true. The love will do what it does. The world finds ways to see you, and then one day decides to bring you something to believe in. For even a night, one hand may be forever, but that's all.
Once upon a time. I wish a far off kingdom more than anything. A young maiden, more than life, a sad young lad, more than you. I wish a childless baker. The next song we're singing is called You Will Be Found. Um, and this is from a play that actually has a very sad theme. A student who um, actually ends up taking his life um, is kind of like the preemptive story of this. And um, there's a boy on campus who decides to lie and say he was friends with him for whatever reason, to get sympathy or attention, whatever it may be. And and it kind of, this whole play goes to show this this boy, the one who lied, um, and just kind of what a sad life he is and how, how lonely he feels. And after the death of this other student, he starts to realize, you know, we're never alone. You have friends, you know, and for us, it's really helpful for us to kind of take themes like this or even situations. This is not a sacred song, but it is so true for students in this situation to deal with things like that hopelessness or even suicide ideation, like some of those things that we've talked about in the past. And, um, and just realize what a ability, what an incredible blessing and gift it is to be at a place where we can talk about the hope that we have in Christ. When these students feel alone, they know that they have a father that will be with them, that will protect them, that they can go to. They also have teachers and friends and people who love the Lord who will direct them in that path. So this is You Will Be Found. And although it is a, a secular song, I think we can make it, you know, um, even a far more biblical song just by thinking of we will be found. Christ has found us if we're in him. Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall and no one would hear? Well, let that lonely feeling wash away Cause maybe there's a reason to believe you'll be okay Cause when you don't feel strong enough to stand You can reach, reach out your hand And oh, someone will come running Take you home. Even when the dark comes. 
comes crashing through When you need a friend to carry you And when you're broken on the ground You will be found So let the sun come streaming in Cause you'll reach up and you'll rise again Lift your head and look around You will be found I mean, one of the best scored musicals of all time. It's so beautiful. This, you're in for a little bit of a song. This is 15 minutes, so just have another dessert or something. Drink some more sparkling cider. Um, uh, the students worked very, very hard on this one, and it's probably one of our favorites.
cheek without a trace of fright I dare to dream that she might even care for me and as I ring these bells tonight my cold dark tower seems so bright I swear it must be
We have one more song for you before we have all the rest of the kids come up. Um, I want to just say a quick um, few words of thanks to um, some of our team. First, we have our tech guys in the back, Wesley and Jeremy. 
Um, I, I just, I, I want to say about Wesley, if you've been around the school at all, you just know the gift and the gym that he is, and he finds ways to step in and serve far above his job. And you know, he always runs to do it. It's like, I, it's one of my favorite things about him is like, if you need help, he's actually going to run to you to help you. Um, but thank you, Wesley, for everything you did. Um, I also have to thank my partner in crime, Tiffany Arnone. <laughs> She is worth her weight in gold, and um, she had to go um, get pregnant, so she's going to be gone second semester. She really didn't think about my timeline, but whatever. <laughs> um, but we are just so thankful for her. She is so immensely talented, and not only is she our accompanist, but she's really an assistant director and um, just a dear friend. And then finally, I want to just say thank you to Andrea Spencer. I... This is so far beyond my wildest dream that we would ever do something like this. And I also want to say these beautiful centerpieces and also leading up this committee is Stacy Woodward, my sweet friend. And then finally, thank you so much to the Broadway committee. I know that there are many of you that have um, taken on these big tasks. The number of raffles, every single raffle represents somebody walking into that business and asking if they would donate. And the time that took, um, I just, from the bottom of my heart, just thank you so much for that Broadway committee. We're going to sing one more song. And finally, we come to pretty much a sacred song. This is from the movie, The Prince of Egypt. And I mean, if you think about just the things in Israel right now and how this piece still applies. This is Deliver Us.
as I'm singing to you. What an incredible song to almost end our night. We have one more song where everybody's going to sing together, but a great testimony. Even that song, if you've seen the movie, you remember that song, and it just kind of gives you chills. And I couldn't help but think this time it's a really good one for us to kind of capture as the theme for everything that we are looking to do. This is not only a great evening of song and of fun and of food and of fellowship, it's also a time to raise a little money to send these kids overseas. This high school choir, 49 of them are looking to go over to France and Switzerland with a little eight hour drop over in London and have a great time, but ultimately to answer the prayers of those around the world that are saying, deliver us. From whatever they're saying, deliver us. And we're going with the gospel of peace to reach and love and care for and preach to through song all those who need the gospel of Jesus Christ. What a wonderful blessing it is. As I shared earlier, the high school choir gets into places that we could never. If you flew over to France and Switzerland and said, can I walk into your public school and share Jesus Christ with them and talk about the hope of the gospel? They would say no. But we can say things through song that you can't say on the streets, in the schools, around town, or anywhere else. What we're looking to do is something that is very unique very practical, much needed, and a golden opportunity for these students. And so we really are using this evening not only to practice and fellowship and have a good time, this really is to raise money for these students to go. We have a goal, uh, well, t tentatively of 25000 because that covers their next round of payments, but we would love to double that and reach even 50000 to take their next two payments between now and the end of the year and get it covered for them. Please know it's not just for a fun little trip, even though there will be a lot of fun and it's a great trip. We're looking to carry out the mission of the Great Commission. And these students have done so great. Having traveled with them, seen them in Ireland, seen them in Hawaii, you need to know when they're outside of this campus, they engage, they love, they serve. They have a great time and make great memories, but they're leaving memories of eternal value and the message of eternal worth salvation through the forgiveness of sins found in Jesus Christ alone. And what a blessing that is to be able to be part of this, getting them off this campus. We raise kids up every day and every year to send them out in the world, but sometimes we get to go with them, and this is one of those sweet times. On that note, I just want to mention a couple of things to you on your way out tonight. You'll walk through those doors there, and you'll see our auction items are still there. You can put your, pot, your final bid on those auction items, and then we'll uh, follow up with you early next week and let you know if you've won those. Also, you can give a donation in this dona donation envelope. They're right outside, right in the center, and you can drop them in a box there that has a nice picture on it, a black box, and support these students 
as they look to raise these funds. I know some of them you know personally, but we would love to take every single one of these 49 students and make it possible for them. That's why we're here tonight, so that the gospel can go beyond the walls of this building. One other thing I want to do, uh, well, I'll have more comments actually after this song. So I'll let you guys sing your song, and then I'll close this out with a few final comments. One day more, another day, another destiny, this never-ending road to Calvary. These men who seem to know my crime will surely come a second time. One day more, Isn't it great when they're standing all around you, you can like feel the music. It just lifts you right out of your seat. A couple little items before we go. We have these wonderful, beautiful centerpieces on your tables. We want to make sure that you're able to take those home, but there's only one of them and there's several of you at a table. 
So I put a spoon in the middle of that centerpiece, and you think, why is a white spoon in my centerpiece? Well, pull that out of there. One of it, there you go. Pull it out of there. If you don't have one of those white spoons in your centerpiece, find a spoon. Mrs. Arnoni is gonna play a little background music. You're gonna pass that spoon around the table. When she stops playing the music, the one holding the spoon gets to take the centerpiece. Now, you don't take the charger underneath it, and you don't take the number, and you don't take the stand holding the number, but the centerpiece is all yours, and let me tell you, it's a beautiful thing you can take with you. We got all kinds of gifts, so I think you guys get how this works. We're gonna send you off with all kinds of things. Not only are you blessed by music, encouraged by the fellowship, we have food right outside the door as well. A lot of leftovers you can take. Does everybody have that spoon? Hold it up in the air for me. You got your spoon at your table? All right, we've got the music started. Start passing those spoons. Some of you are faster than others. Others are lingering a little bit. Who's gonna get the centerpieces? When the music stops, that's when the winner is found. The last one holding the spoon takes home the centerpiece. Some of you are getting uh, quite competitive. They are beautiful centerpieces. Oh, there it is. Okay, be sure to take those home with you. A couple more announcements before we go. And we just want to close out this evening with a couple of things. One, as you're leaving, as you're leaving, there are some leftover food in there. You go through, you'll see the food off to the left. Feel free to take that food. Don't eat it here. Please take it. We're going to try to clean up the mess. Um, in addition to that, don't forget about our Christmas concert on December 3rd. December 3rd over at Grace Baptist, we get everybody out. They come on out and have a great time, sing all kinds of Christmas songs and worship the Lord. Thank you to everybody who participated in this evening. We're so thankful and grateful for all the work put in. Let me just tell you, Santa Clarita Christian School is a very special school. We believe the academics are strong. We love our athletics. There's a lot of things happening, but ultimately it comes down to the Holy Spirit working through the right people in the classroom, loving your kids. The bedrock and foundation, even the cornerstone of every good solid education is relationships. So we want people who pour into your kids love, truth, life, hope, the gospel of Jesus Christ. We're thankful for all these students that have come out, not only to serve and learn, but be loved on by so many, but most especially Mrs. Susie Johnson. that you put in, go take a nap or something, find some rest, do something. All that to say, one of the ways that you can say thank you is by supporting this choir, 49 students that we're looking to take across the pond to preach the gospel and change the world. Pray toward that end, give toward that end, love toward that end. Thank you for all of your good participation and grace. Grab a donation envelope, bid on the auction items, grab some food. Hug a friend. Let's celebrate everything we've heard tonight. God bless you. Have a great night.